What's going on everybody? Today we in Hanover, we right down here in our hotel and today is a special day. Lana having a fish fry for her daughter's birthday. They have a lot of food going on in the kitchen. Everybody's all hands on deck. They have bami frying, the soup is going, there's chicken, there's going to be conk, there's going to be sea cat. This cookout may have a bashment vibes to it. Can't wait to see what's going on in the kitchen. Can't wait to see what's going on with the food. Son chicken, Maji. Yes, sir. Try a thing, you know? I try a thing, you look like you have more than try, man. I'm just flipping over that chicken, nice color, I'm gonna get one. How the soap water got me son? Just sieve me top and now. Eh? I sieve me top and now. How can I sip? Come can see cat. Come can see cat. I that you tell me from before and I really that me come get you know like me now. A real birthday bash man. Yeah man. Oh, this is a festival now. Right. So we are taking out the festival now, man. You can see the golden complexion on that. I hear the crisp on it. Come, come. I have to help out, man. We can't, we can't let them on their own. <laughs> they can't manage without it. Can't yeah. let them on their own. I just want to ban me off out. Yeah. So it looks like they're starting out with the sides. I have the festival going on inside. You see the bamik putting down and that's being fried. Some of that is soaked into some coconut milk as well. And then you have the cabbage being chopped up. You have the escovit sauce being prepared. So it's a full prep time. They have all hands on deck. They're calling other people to come in and help as well. So there are more chefs on the way to come in. They'll have fish that's frying. The chicken is almost done. The soup is on the side of the road. Things are going down here and everything looking better and better as we move along. So, see if the bashment still are going on. Right, did everything. Oh, you got to look for that, man. You smell them, forget right now. Eh? You smell them, you smell it right now. You smell them, you smell it right now, man. I tell you. Listen. Right now. I see you, cat. Kong. I hold you for banana, okra. Don't I like them like a mash one of that right away. You see the okra, you see something in them. Okay. And some cat wheel we have in there. Yeah, man. Thing look proper in a nice store. We try to have bubbles still. So, sea cat and conk. Together. Together. Yeah. It's down here everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But you have to manage the whole pot and the ship and everything. Yeah, I tell you. I have to do everything, man. Everything has got done. So we are serve up this one. You know the French one, steamed and fried rice. Steamed on. Okra and carrot and Irish. Okay, so we are going to serve up this one. Yeah, we're going to serve up this one. Steam as well. Steam as well. Steam as well. Yeah. So uh, what you have? You can't come in like you have everything in the yeah, kitchen. I want to have. Yeah, man. We have pork, fried fish. But we see two different types of pork. We have brown stew and we have jerk pork. I understand jerk chicken too. Fried fish, steam fried fish. Fried fish, steam fish. Fried fish, steam fish. Yeah. I understand escovitch if you want a fire roast with beer, same. We have lobster on the way. Lobster the pork. Yeah. I understand? Yeah, yeah man. Up. Nice mash. We do like extra spice. Whole recipe on a regular mash. You understand? I'm going to look for the back. Cool things are going on in the kitchen. So that's a cup. Yeah, man. Curry cup. Yeah, definitely. 
So he basically just saute some vegetable with that and then cooked it down basically then he sauteed before so those vegetables and that seasoning with some scratch bonnet pepper with have some carrot some onion and you cover him up you cover him up now so when you cover him up like that now how long you cook for after that i'm gonna probably want 20 minutes or 30. and where you put it from on the fire yeah on the grill right yeah i have a grill for the camp with the Start you out on the right on the rim. So as you can see, a whole heap of things are going in there. They have so much food offering, they have so many orders going out. The amount of box food that you see going out. You, I mean, it's just an array of food, a full platter coming out of there today for her birthday. So it's Lana's daughter's birthday, so it's her fish fry that we basically down there are invade and you can see the amount of food in there, the preparation that's going on. They still have things going on in the kitchen, but I'm not going to tell you, you know, like everything looks amazing. They have stew pork, they have jerk pork. I mean, you, you don't want anything more than this. This is this place. And I just bucked up on this place off of a stop. I stopped for a cup of soup and buck up on Lana. Where is a sea cat and kung su? Sea cat and kung can. Can, carrot. Everything. Everything in there. Right. And what time you start cooking this, this morning? Four o'clock. From four o'clock. So that means everything's supposed to start out in there ready right now. Yeah. And when you put okra and thing. Okra and everything in there. Mm. Yeah, man. We see the top of the pot when the okra them they come up. <laughs> yeah. But you say sea cat and kung. Mm. Yeah, we need a cup of that. Okay. It's trying to put a pen for you now. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I got the sea cat and cup now. Yeah. Yeah. Pumpkin, you boil it down with. Yeah, I'm pumpkin. Yeah, man, you can red see peas. about a little thickness too. Red peas as well in there. Yeah. It's literally like 90 degrees outside, but you know what I feel for? Some soup. Sweat already and I don't even start drinking the soup yet. That's a good in a hot sun too. I need one tent man, some hot. Some hot? Yeah, I want tent with a nice shirt or something. Mm -hmm. Sea cap, we can get a yeah, man piece of sea cap right or so. Yeah man, conk and everything in there. See conk the man, conk sea cat. We fully loaded man. Amanda, I'm coming home tonight, baby. <laughs> I can tell you something about Jamaicans and Jamaican when it comes to good soup, it will stop you anywhere in your track. So it could be 90 degrees outside like today and I'm standing by the cold fire. Hot narrated with a hot cup of soup in my hand. I don't even know why I have a spoon. I don't need it. I don't need that. Because sea cat and pump mix together. Wow. Yeah man. Alright, so I get in. I get some seasoning there. Natural seasoning is very nice. I get in a nice fresh hint of, of scallion. That just came up. Piece of the scallion just came up. I gave it a lot more flavor into that first sip. I see the okra sip. I haven't even had a red pea yet in it, but it does have like a peanut type flavor, which it makes it absolutely stupendous. And then you have 
the chunks of sea cat and the chunks of conch in there and that mixture alone you heard what she said i won't repeat it but that mixture the flavors that come on for that it unite in the soup mm. oh. and a piece of okra just popped in right there now going for all soup a while ago and you just get a piece of okra I didn't like okra at first. Okra was something that it took getting used to. I mean, it had that sometimes slimy, we could say, consistency to it. And sometimes it gets even rubbery and tough if you have to. But the okra in this soup, can't go wrong. Sea cat, pump, 90 degree, coal fire, soup pot, Jamaica. The soup really good, you know. But outside hot, I have to come around to the other side. Me and Pooch around. Hey, Pooch. Pooch. I don't know if you name Pooch, but Pooch. More breeze on the seaside. So why not? Right? Why should I suffer on the side of the road when I can get some cool Caribbean sea breeze? Pooch, are you afraid of water? And Still enjoying the soup. amazing it looks sitting down like it was stewed right down to the bone where it was almost falling off I haven't had that in a while real excited to try that there's a host of things happening I mean there's a conch there's a lobster there's the fish there's a the pork there's a jerk pork there's a jerk chicken whole heap of things here I think I'm gonna have to settle on something that's not always filmed so we are gonna try the stew pork we still have to try the pork and you know my pick 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 and go through everything else as well. So we are going to go see what to miss Lana stew pork. Now I'm in the car and having to oh hot gravy, nice. Some mashed potato, some rice and peas. Nice piece of stew pork with it as well. Look at that. Yes, man. So good. Mm, so kind of the sweetness of pork. If you have meat that's really more versatile you can have it sweet you can have it hot you can have it spicy you can have pork any type of way but stew pork is a jamaican favorite i mean stew pork is actually fantastic it comes back to our african roots the west african influence in our food and it highlights what we like to do season our food and cook it well so stew pork seasoned well and cooked well i mean very tender the, the, the pork is still moist. I mean, you can see where it's breaking apart. You can almost pull it and have it come off like pulled pork, but it's not that tender. See, a little piece just broke off when I'm having there. Another little piece just broke off while having it there, but it's super tender, super moist, super flavorful. Well seasoned. Even if I take a piece off and just bite it, that piece still has seasoning. It's you don't get a lot of scotch bonnet in this. Usually I like my stew pork. Well, I like more than average pepper, so nothing wrong with that. You can always add, you can never subtract. But this, 
is seasoned perfectly, very tender. I mean, it really has a hint of that pork flavor that comes out, the sweetness of that pork meat. I see it cooked down with some onions, other spices like scallion and stuff like that in here that makes part of the gravy. That gravy is smothered that on the rice, mix it up, and it just works beautifully. Let's go in and see if we can get another part. This is one with a little more jiggle. This is the fat. This brings out a lot more flavor into it than the other part would. Yeah, man. Totally different flavor profile, but still hitting all right now. Why, Miss Lana? Yeah, go on with something. Pork is good. That's a in a bang bang. Yeah, it has to get tender. This is a yeah, tender. Man. This is a tender rice. Weird things going on. I mean, it's not a normal day at Lana's. When you pull up, it's not going to be the hustle and bustle, and you might not have that variety of food. She has fish, she has conch, she has seafood usually, and she does other food as well. But today is the fish fry. But today, them have a spread like no other. You see exactly what's going on in there. I went with the stew pork and I went with some conk as usual. You know I forget some conk and some fried fish as well. Everything smells amazing. The grills outside is a flavor bomb to your nose. Inside is something completely different. The smells just absolutely amazing. From your reach up on the road, you can smell everything that's coming out here. And you can see that it's it, it really smelling really good.